Welcome to the Stoic Quotient. In this video, we're pulling back the curtain on the truth no one talks about. Perfection is not a virtue. It's a survival response. And the more you chase it, the more you disconnect from who you really are. Get ready to discover the neuroscience of embracing imperfection and unlock the calm, authenticity, and freedom you've been missing. Every morning you wake up with a weight on your chest, the pressure to be more, do more, look better, perform flawlessly. But no matter how hard you try, it never feels like enough. You chase perfection like a ghost, always just out of reach, and it's costing you your peace, your joy, and your sense of self. What if the problem isn't you, but the programming in your brain? What if your nervous system has been wired to fear imperfection? And what if, by understanding the neuroscience behind this, you could finally set yourself free? Let's talk about the neuroscience of embracing imperfection. Why letting go sets you free. Your brain has been tricked, wired for perfection yet tormented by it. In a world obsessed with flawlessness, chasing perfection is burning us out, making us anxious and slowly stealing our joy. This video dives deep into the neuroscience of imperfection, why your brain craves control, and how embracing your flaws can rewire your mind, reduce chronic stress, and lead to real freedom. If you're tired of the pressure to be perfect, this message will set you free. What if I told you that your pursuit of perfection is actually destroying you? That behind the polished selfies, flawless performances, and constant self-improvement lies a nervous system on the brink, tense, wired, afraid to be seen as anything less than ideal. You've been trained to think perfection is power, but the truth Perfection is a prison, and your brain, your beautiful, brilliant brain, wasn't designed to thrive in that cage. Welcome to the neuroscience of embracing imperfection. This isn't just a motivational pep talk, it's a journey into the wiring of your mind, the hidden pathways that drive your obsessive need to be flawless, and the liberation that begins when you let go. You've been conditioned to believe that being perfect is the only way to be loved, accepted, or respected. But what if that's a lie? What if your imperfections aren't barriers, but bridges? What if your flaws aren't failures, but fingerprints of your humanity? Let's dive into the science, the truth, and more importantly, the freedom waiting on the other side. The brain's obsession with perfection. Your brain has a default mode survival. In early human history, mistakes could mean death. So the brain evolved to scan for flaws, for danger, for anything out of order. The prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for planning, self-control, and decision-making, is constantly simulating future outcomes, asking, will this make me look bad? Will they reject me if I mess up? What if I fail? And then it pushes you to over-prepare, over-analyze, over-perfect, because in your brain's language, mistakes equal danger. But this ancient wiring doesn't understand the difference between life-threatening risk and emotional vulnerability. To your nervous system, giving a messy speech, showing up without makeup, or admitting I don't know feels like social death. This is how perfectionism takes hold. Not as ambition, but as fear, as trauma, as a nervous system screaming, protect me from shame. So what happens when perfection becomes your baseline? Your brain enters chronic threat mode, cortisol floods your system, your amygdala, the fear center, becomes hyperactive. You start to catastrophize even the smallest flaw. A typo in an email becomes a reason to spiral. A pimple on your face becomes a source of shame. A missed deadline becomes a narrative. I'm not enough. This constant self-surveillance wears you down. 
your immune system weakens, you sleep poorly, your creativity shuts off. You become less productive, less present, less alive. Perfectionism isn't a strength, it's a slow burnout. But here's the miracle. Your brain is not fixed. Thanks to neuroplasticity, you can change these patterns. You can rewire your nervous system to stop equating imperfection with threat. Here's how. Practice self-compassion literally. Studies from Dr. Kristen Neff and others show that self-compassion activates the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest response. This reduces cortisol, lowers heart rate, and shifts your brain into a safe state. Instead of I'm such an idiot you say, that was hard, I'm learning, I'm still worthy. Expose yourself to small imperfections, on purpose. Wear something imperfect, share a raw thought online, let someone see you cry. And then, notice, you didn't die. You weren't rejected by the entire world. Your brain learns, I can be flawed and still be loved. Reframe mistakes as data, not identity. Neuroscientists call it cognitive reappraisal. Instead of I failed, say, this was feedback. I'm growing. Every time you do this, you weaken the neural pathways of shame and strengthen the ones of self-trust. What if you stopped running? What if the version of you that's messy, raw, unfiltered was the most lovable of all? We don't connect to each other through perfection. We connect through vulnerability, through the cracks. Think about it, when someone shows up trembling, but honest, do you love them less? No, you trust them more. Imperfection is magnetic. It's where authenticity lives. It's where intimacy breathes. It's where your real life begins. Perfection is not the goal. Presence is. The real power is in being fully here, with your flaws, your doubts, your unfinished thoughts. Because that's where your soul speaks. That's where you meet others in truth. Let this be your reminder. You are not a machine. You are not a performance. You are not a project to be perfected. You are a human being, designed to feel, to stumble, to rise, to evolve. And in your imperfection, you are already enough. Let go of the pressure, rewire your mind, and finally, come home to yourself. You were never meant to be perfect. You were meant to be whole, alive, messy, fully human. And the moment you stop performing, the moment you let the crack show, that's the moment your soul begins to breathe again. You don't have to keep living in survival mode. The science is clear. Your brain can change. And so can your story. So give yourself permission to be seen, exactly as you are. Because that's where your power is, not in the mask, but in the mirror. If this message resonated, let us know in the comments what's one way you're letting go of perfection this week. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more neuroscience-backed tools to reclaim your mind, body, and soul. Remember, you were never broken, just buried under the lie of perfection. And now, it's time to rise. You don't have to be perfect to be powerful, you just have to be real. Thanks for watching The Stoic Quotient.